the LA Valiant took the Florida Mayhem to map five. And this isn't some Mickey Mouse lucky break or anything. They genuinely were outworking Florida early on in this series and looked really good. Speaker specifically pretty much took over the match at times. Map one was Nepal, where Florida only won a single fight across two rounds. And I want to highlight the Ram vs Ryan matchup on Village because Seeker on the Symmetra was able to output a ton more damage and more pressure from behind Cry's shield and that was a huge difference. Another thing I want to talk about is Liar. He had a banger map and was surviving better than Chorong while also using opportunities to hunt down Rupal and follow up on damage. The way he was weaving in and out of the fight was pretty impressive and it was the first time that he stood out to me so far this season. Florida must have been pissed because on King's Road they dominated. The Valiant had one elimination on their offense and it looked like they were possessed by the 2021 Valiant. Like that was not Seeker. There is no way. It was just Crystal. You cannot convince me otherwise. Crystal was back in the league for a second. And to be honest, that's how I thought the series would go from here on out. But no, the Valiant actually stayed with it and won a very close Shambali to go up 2-1 in the series. In the Ram Mirror, LA was winning consistently in the neutral fights because Seeker always seemed to be able to find an opening pick and then once he did they were quick to push their advantage now florida were able to find fights by getting more value from their ultimates but otherwise they got outworked the valiant had smooth sailing on their offense until third and even then they almost completed the map then on the defense la close held for like a minute and a half and basically only lost the ultimate fights honestly it looked like florida were going to close it out but cj had a very smart window kind of off to the side so he was able to hard pocket cries annihilation out sustain Florida and secure the map win. At this point, Florida recognized they were getting outworked on the Ramcoms and on New Queen Street, they started out on Junker Queen. It was close, but Florida always had the lead until about halfway through when someone swapped over to Winston. And from there, even with Cry going over to the JQ, Florida slowly but surely grew their lead until it was monstrous. Someone specifically really turned it up to 11 on this map, like the Rampages and Primals he was hitting were massive. Finally, on Li Zhang, the last map of the series, Valiant returned to the Reinhardt Rush, and they got the initial point cap on Night Market but then they kind of got stomped the rest of the way against Florida and their Winston comp. I'm not sure why they committed to the Rhine so hard when they could have easily moved over to Junker Queen, but whatever. The difference maker in this map was once again Florida making more fight deciding plays with their ultimate, specifically with Window. DJ's Windows were getting kited often in this last round, but RuPaul's were applying a ton of pressure. Florida would win Li Zhang 2-0, but the Valiant could have easily taken this round and honestly this entire series. Valiant have stepped up big time since even last week and this Rhine May comp is perfect for them. Nasus Tracer has been kind of a weak point for them, so anytime they can get him over to the May, it really helps and gives them an identity that could cause some trouble. The tough part here is that the remaining three games are against Atlanta, Toronto, and San Fran, so it'll be pretty tough for them to squeak into the knockouts, but it is not impossible. For Florida, this is kind of worrying. They feel so scared to put someone on Winston, which makes no sense to me because when they play around his aggression, they are just a force. Anyway, comment your thoughts down below as always. And if you like this video, make sure to subscribe for more Overwatch League content. Have yourself a good one. Deuces.